Testosterone is typically thought of as mainly a hormone for men, but it is also very important for women as it influences sexual functioning, mood, development of lean muscle mass, and also memory and cognition. And women who are in their 40s actually have about half the level of testosterone that was present in their 20s. So we really see a significant decline in testosterone levels over time. And when women have low or suboptimal testosterone levels, they can experience many symptoms, including sexual dysfunction, so a decrease in sexual drive or desire. They can also notice that they have increased fatigue, they're tired. Also, it's more difficult to develop lean muscle mass. It can have a significant impact also on mood, overall sense of well-being, motivation, the feeling of confidence and assertiveness. Um, also, it can have an impact on memory and cognitive functioning. So this is a very important hormone to consider for women as well. And a study was actually published in the Journal of the American Medical Association showing that approximately 43% of postmenopausal women suffer from some form of sexual dysfunction. So that's significant. And surprisingly, we really don't hear a lot about this condition in women, and we certainly don't hear about options for treatment, including testosterone. So this condition can oftentimes go undiagnosed and also undertreated. Currently, there is no FDA-approved form of testosterone replacement therapy for women, even though providers have been prescribing it in an off-label manner, which is when a medication is prescribed for something other than its official FDA-approved indication. And providers have been doing this for over 50 years now. And testosterone can actually be replaced in various forms. It can be given in a very low dose injection once a week. It can also be given sublingually in a trochee form, which dissolves in the mouth. Um, also, it can be administered through a minor surgical procedure. Uh, it's known as uh, subcutaneous pellet insertion. And then also it can be given in topical form as a cream or a gel. Now the most common form of replacement that we see is typically in the form of the topical gel or creams, which can be supplied by compounding pharmacies. And the benefit of doing it in this manner is that the provider can really adjust the dose based on the individual patient's needs and response to therapy. So it's not just there's one standard dose and it better work for you or there's no other option. We can really just customize it to the needs of the individual patient. And when you replace any hormone in this manner, low daily doses. It is very similar to the way the body naturally produces hormones. So women typically respond very well to this treatment and see real benefit from therapy. After starting testosterone replacement therapy, women typically notice a significant improvement in all of the symptoms I previously mentioned including increased sexual functioning, desire, and drive. They can also notice an increase in energy level and increased ability to develop lean muscle mass. Also, they can notice a significant improvement in mood, motivation, overall sense of well-being and confidence. And in addition to that, they may notice improved memory and also cognitive functioning. And one other important point to make is that when testosterone is given to a woman, a portion of it will actually convert to estrogen. So the postmenopausal woman who has low or deficient estrogen levels can actually see improvement in those symptoms that are typically associated with low estrogen, which would be hot flashes, night sweats, moodiness, irritability, vaginal dryness. So we'll not only see improvement in the classic symptoms of low testosterone, but also the typical menopausal symptoms associated with low estrogen. There are several studies that support the use of testosterone replacement therapy in women. In fact, a Cochrane review of the literature found that over 35 trials have been performed which included over 4,500 women, and they found a significant improvement in sexual functioning in women on testosterone replacement therapy. In addition, a more recent study 
published in 2014 showed that women on a transdermal or topical form of testosterone actually had improvement in memory and cognitive functioning. So there are several studies supporting the use of this important hormone in women. Now, in terms of the safety, I would say there are potential side effects with the use of any medication. In testosterone, if doses are too high, women can notice adverse effects including acne, increase in hair growth, which is known as hirsutism. Um, also they may notice with extremely high doses, a deepened voice or enlargement of the labia or clitoris. So that would typically be something that's dose dependent. So if a physician was a little bit aggressive with their starting dose, they might notice some of these side effects. Decreasing and backing off on the dosage, those symptoms will resolve. Now, one important fact to mention in premenopausal women who are still menstruating, it's important for providers to discuss the use of birth control with them because testosterone is considered to be category X, meaning it will cause fetal harm if a woman becomes pregnant when she's on testosterone replacement. So that's just a discussion that the patient needs to have with their provider. What is your reliable form of birth control before prescribing it to them? But in the premenopausal woman on birth control and also a postmenopausal uh, woman. Testosterone replacement therapy is very safe. It has low risk of side effects when used at appropriate doses, and there are many studies supporting its use in this population.